Hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our Spyro A Hero's Tale adventures here today. Last time we discovered it is much better than Enter the Dragonfly. Thank God. Especially because this is a far longer game than Enter the Dragonfly is. Last time, we were introduced to Red, an evil dragon, whom they are just deciding not to give a backstory, really, for humorous purposes. Uh, they de-Britishified the capitalist bear for some reason, and I, 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 I don't really get it at all. <laughs> Everything else is the same for all the characters that really are appearing out and about that have returned. Yeah, uh, does that, uh, no. Uh, but yeah, we beat Nasty Nork in the first area. And now we're here on the coast to presumably, because in the cutscene, there was a giant Ursula mermaid character. And we're probably, she's probably going to be this area's Nasty Nork right hand enemy monster. So we're, we're just going to go about and see about doing things. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still forever eternally mix up the the dash and the flame in this i still don't know why they changed it <laughs> it's such a weird decision but hey if that's the price to pay of good game just that they swapped the controls for reasons unknown very well i'm going to presume that this is the big ol if you smash all 10 yeah, you need to destroy a total of 20, smash all 10 in this area. You'll be granted access uh, to the realm of the gods. So, yeah, you're just here. I don't have to pay you another 500 just to... Well, then again, I didn't even have to pay him 500. He just wanted to me to have 500 on me. So, let's see. Because right now, the only things that... No, the only thing left as a permanent thing is 10,000. So I guess we'll save up for that and then everything else. <laughs> from from YouTube chat, Merry Halloween, everyone. Granted, that pretty much is in the, in, in the spirit of April Fools. It would be much more fun. Hmm. Just shell houses that we can't enter. Who lives here? Or who lived here before... Money bags bought all the land and forced everyone out. Is he Ursula in this story? He's probably Ursula. Like why? Like a like why even dress him up like that? <laughs> For some reason, my brain went. If you're gonna dress him like that, like dress him like Jafar at the very least. Did you fall for any April Fool's jokes today? I pretty much ignore everything that happens on the internet when April Fool's Day comes around. So, like, April Fool's Day happens, and then I just check out mentally. Nothing at all matters. So, yeah, there seems to be an exit to that place as well that we... Doesn't really matter. Hmm. I guess we'll go this way first, since it seems to have the most basic of layouts. I'm a fool. I got hit. <laughs> Not an April Fool's joke, by the way. I reclaimed the Giratina today! Ha ha! Because <laughs> I remember you were talking about how painful it was. Alright, so you're an armored crab. Or... Do I need to smash you from above? Oh, I need to tip you over and then slam. No idea how, he, how I tipped you over, but okay. Oh, maybe I need to lightning you? And there's a surfboarding otter person. Or is it, or is it just Hunter in a different outfit? I have no idea how to, how these guys are meant to die. Or am I supposed to charge at them and I've just been a failure? Alright. You are still a mystery to me. Then again, I really shouldn't be dedicating so much health to those guys because 
these guys respawn. So, like, <laughs> their gems are not important. I'll just restock on Spark's life through the power of screaming crabs. <laughs> Wait, when did you do the last stream? Last stream was Saturday. Because I stream Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, 5 p.m. Central Standard. Unfortunately, I do not know how many uh, SRs it took because I stopped counting a while before I got at the shiny Giratina. Also said, uh, said yesterday, not today. Meh. My brain is bleh. <laughs> Some dudes drained your pool. Okay. Spyro, we've ran into weirder people than this. Let's see. Uh, go to task list. Access the cloudy domain. Hmm. Activate the water wheels. Well, might as well. I'm invading the crab kingdom, it seems. Be gone, crabs. <laughs> Dang it, YouTube. YouTube didn't give me the notification again. I. Like, I remember that happening a lot with, like, uh, Twitch a long, long time ago. You fool. That never worked for Nasty Gnork. Why would it work for you? Trying to slam me. But hey, we're actually fighting Norks. After we beat Nasty Nork. Which amuses me. It was mostly just random crocodile dudes. And then his minions started showing up. There's a way to essentially get infinite premier balls in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so I'm using that to my advantage, as I want to get a shiny Rishram in a premier ball. Considering the weird ways of the premier balls, I don't see that as being a problem. Get all the premier balls. All of them. Hmm. Oh, looks like we need to do some more pyro pole dancing. I presume. All right, I, ah, interesting. It's a little bit of like a puzzle, but it's kind of like an action puzzle. All right, zoop. Then we zoop, 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 zoop. But yeah, yesterday I started playing on my own time Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, and it, it just utterly ate up my day. I wanted to do writing and drawing that day, but Brain said no. <laughs> Instead, you are going to play Vampire the Masquerade. And also, do you like my new look? Ah, new... A new profile picture. <laughs> the main problem with my setup is that the chat is kind of far away, so... Like, uh, profile pictures blend to just be colors. <laughs> it's a very nice picture. Kind of reminds me of the... <laughs> what was essentially the mascot of the uh, Sonic Forces create a character system. Which I really hope that they give that another shot. It's not the create a character system's fault <laughs> that the game was kind of destined for death. <laughs> Basically, there's a shop that gives 50% off, and you buy in bulk for the Premier Balls, and then sell the Pokeballs. You you get your money back, rinse and repeat, for the infinite <laughs> Premier Ball <laughs> system of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. That's actually, that's actually interesting. Economics 101. Now I just need to find Reshiram. He's very fun. Gotta smash all these. Nobody cares, Mr. Moneybags. You're like Scrooge McDuck, but evil. Let's 
Uh, it's, it is uh, Blink again. The quirky 90s mole sidekick character. Why are you doing up here with your open aerophobia? Extremely dangerous and dread appeared on the scene. But I'm always up for a challenge. You know I love it down there. That's why you're up here. I explore below ground. Sure. <laughs> Once again, the wording being <laughs> making it sound weird. Would you like to try for a dragon egg with blink? Just sounds weird, man. Let's see, do I have any bombs? I currently do not have bombs. I'm being denied my right for bombs. What do you think of the characters in this game? The characters are kind of basic. It isn't helped by the fact that a lot of them seem to be, like, one shot. Like Flame and Ember. Again, maybe Ember will show up again. But considering the inevitable joke that would be... Like, ha ha ha, she said. Hmm. I think I'm pressing. Did I not get bombs? You said it was a bomb dispenser. I thought I went over it. I thought I went over that, and it didn't give me a bomb. There we go. But I got distracted by it. Like, the, the way they worded Ember's lines when you talk to her again before going to the swamp... If you go to the swamp, I may never see you again, and then she just disappears. Definitely feels like a one-off joke character, which is sad. They really should have, like, had her be like a quest giver. Then again, maybe she'll show up. I just <laughs> doubt it. Flame? Flame is never showing up again. It is weird that they even decided to go, let's just recolor Spyro. And call it a day. Like, I wouldn't mind if more of these characters showed up, but... Interactions seem to be very, very quick. And again, they just de-Britishified the capitalist bear, and I do not understand at all. Why? Why would you change money bags like that? It, 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 it's just so weird. At the very least, the gameplay is nice, and what little character... Dang it. Got ahead of myself again. Also, the double jumping is weird, where if you don't jump at a certain point, it feels like you can't jump anymore. Which, I don't know, it feels weird. It feels wonky. <laughs> they left Ember and Flame out so you can play as them after you get, like, yeah, that set of eggs. But still, it just feels odd. Like, on the one hand, sure, it's like, it's neat to have, like, different, like, playable skins for Spyro. That's a cool idea. But then maybe if you fleshed out those characters... Like, I don't know. And then if you, like, played as them and activated, like, their respective minigames, as I theorized they could have done. Maybe have them go, oh, hey, Spyro! Or, like, just, like, comment on it in a cheeky way and then leave it out. I just like, I don't know, there's ways of doing it. That could be interesting. <laughs> I probably should have mentioned this earlier, but when do you change your look? Uh, yeah, I, I introduced my PNG tuber Sylveon last stream. And just like last time, I totally could have just waited until I got to Super Mystery Dungeon again. to premiere it, but my I was just not at all going anywhere. Brain just wanted to... I made it. I should, let's go throw it out there into the world. Alright. I think I might begin to be annoyed by... Because it seems like there's alternate paths. Hmm. You want to know something even weirder? They keep Sparrow's voice if you swap to Ember or Flame Skins. I mean, that's kind of understandable. Considering that... Darn you, Wall. Considering, like, uh, it's already a miracle that 
these devs were given actual time to make this game. I can kind of understand them going, let's not program in hit sounds for costumes. Or like, or like, a, as well as if you somehow get all of their eggs and you go do something in the story, kind of makes sense for them to not be like, hey, I thought I laid a bomb. Kind of makes sense they didn't want to deal with that can of worms. It's just kind of, uh, it's just something I expect from this era of game. Where it's like, uh, that would be a lot of work for an alternate costume. Which, hey, if they actually did it, neat. But I, uh, I would not expect it as, like, a, a given thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel entitled to it, is what I say. I wonder if they're gonna add Spyro to Fortnite. Like, unless they, they would have to do somebody dressed up as Spyro, because Spyro's like, form just doesn't work. They can maybe finagle, say, Sonic to work in Fortnite, maybe? But no way that they would get Spyro to work. Uh, darn you, why even have a platform down there? Also, why the hell would you do that game? That's very mean. At least there seems to be a checkpoint, but still, mean. There's actually an alternate ending for this game by 100%ing this. Hmm. I might go for 100%? Depends on how funky the difficulty is. But overall, I'm not opposed to the idea of doing it. <laughs> yeah, actually, if you c uh, collect enough dragon eggs or light gems, you can play as either Ember or Flame, says YouTube chat. Yep. That is what indeed Twitch chat told me, and what I discovered last stream. Because if we... well, we can't check it out here. But uh, when we get back, we can... Because <laughs> I was actually going through the menus at the start of last stream. And I was just like, oh, this is a thing. Oh, hey, there's like uh, rewards for collecting all the dragon eggs. And it's like, who the hell is Ember? <laughs> I really need to, like, begin every time I'm responding to a, a comment like, like, oh, this is from YouTube chat and this is from Twitch chat because I dual stream. Oh, I'm dead again. Darn you. Why can't you swim, you stupid mole? Yes, 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 we all know. Also, why can't you just wait for me to jump on and then just be reactive? Well, that's weird. Go be Spider Mole. <laughs> they added Xenomorph to Fortnite. It can work. Yeah, but Xenomorph is also still kind of human. Spyro is full dragon. Then again, maybe they could do adult dragon Spyro. Make him more like the dragons, the dragon elders and stuff. That's entirely possible. But still, it would be it would still be kind of weird because Spyro isn't known for all of that. Also, it's weird that they have like fish down there, but they don't have the fish actually come up and eat you. <laughs> because moles can't swim. Yeah, neither can dragons. Yet Spyro can swim. Lizards can't breathe fire, or lightning, or ice, but Spyro the boy can. What kind of hip, radical 90s sidekick can't swim, Blink? And now we'll just do that. Snipe the spiders from far away. Of course, they put a lantern in the way. Very mean. Has to be intentional. It's a conspiracy against me. Come on, grab, grab on. 
Game, you've already shown me that you're cruel with, like, water down there. <laughs> why can't he climb? Why, come on, game, just have it. Why can't it just start here and I climb? This is mean. You have instant death water underneath me. Do not put evils in front of me, game. <laughs> Almost every collaboration they've done never ever held a gun. Like Batman, the most egregious crossover. I like how every single character is like, like, sure, there's this dragon egg, but you you don't care about baby dragons, do you, Spyro? You just spent an entire game saving those. And you even saved them in the first game. You totally want a light gym instead, don't you? It's just such a weird thing that all these characters are bringing up. But then again, Spyro has driven, like, warplanes and tanks, so I guess a gun isn't totally outside his wheelhouse. It's just that uh, the one that usually wield the gun is that uh, ancient monkey man. On your bomb, you're supposed to go and work and destroy my enemies. God, there's going to be so many dark crystals. Like in that horrible, horrible section of touch water and die. So many crystals. There's going to be fucking eight of them. Presumably. Maybe they'll throw in an extra area. Doubtful, but who knows. Then again, if Komodos could fly and breathe fire, I think we'd all die. Finally, the real dragons. We no longer have to imagine them. Why imagine dragons when the dragons are right there? They're coming for us because of bad dragon. They don't like what we've done to their to their reputation. Imagine dragons. And for some reason my brain went imagine dragon these nuts on your face. Man, you guys are just terrible with your aim. Bomb. Take cover. Imagine if dragon then again, if you if you could be a dragon, wouldn't you want to be a dragon? Oh, well, hey, there is like another. Ba ba ba. Another zone. It looks like. We're not gonna go there yet. We have dark crystals to destroy. Jim Henson puppets to help. Are you able to climb ceilings while also uh, aiming with goggles? I don't think so, but maybe. But we wouldn't really be able to, like, do anything with it unless maybe throw deadly does. Now we just need to be careful because I need to jump on that to get back, get more bombs, and go. And now my brain went and... Really, there's probably tons of people out there that would like for Spyro to drag his nuts on their face. 
Oh, come on, game. This is obviously a uh, diggy dig. But apparently it doesn't want me to diggy dig. But I want a diggy diggy hole. Like a good mole. Like a good dwarf mole. The real question is, how are these rocks floating? Maybe the dark crystal is doing that too. There's so many dark crystals affecting, like, everything in the world that even physics is dying. All right, good to know. I need to double jump to grab onto these. Obviously, a wizard did it. Either that or it's, the, or it's the bitter cold. We did just play Gates to Infinity not too long ago. Gems for me. Uh huh. Now I can. Shit. You died. Yeah, because you won't let me look down, game, really. Very annoying. Then again, it actually seems like it saved that time. Wait, that. Uh. Alright, good to know that saves every single time I pass over it. That's good to know. At least I think it does. Because it says 4 out of uh, 10, so I believe only that one isn't destroyed. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> YouTube chat said, hey, try aiming while climbing. And that is why we don't. How dare you? Are you a saboteur? Are you from France? How dare you? Interesting that they let you do that, but... <laughs> you can shoot, but you will then <laughs> immediately fall. Especially considering, why would I even need to do that? There are rocks that we can stand on. To aim. Why even aim while hanging there? When we can, from rock. On ground. Now I just need to presumably maybe use this... Maybe I can jump all the way to that, maybe? Because I don't like my chances of, like, trying to slip on under to get directly there. So let's try. And there should be presumably a save point right past here. So let's -a go. Well, how dare you, Mr. Spider? I just move in here and you start shooting me? That's illegal, you know. Of course, we're going to go here. I didn't even mean to do that. Now, that was my fault. If only I could duck and cover while hanging, then I will never be blown up. Just throw you, move far away. I almost threw myself into a bomb. Game, I want to grab. And since I can, I might as well run back and <laughs> save the destruction of that, because I can. When convenient, run back and save. How dare you see me through walls, Spider-Man? Bomb. Nah, I nah, didn't hold it long enough. I do like that they get banned. I'm gonna die. At least I had Sparks. Sparks was here for me. 
Why is Sparks protecting this mole child? This implies that anybody can have a dragonfly. It's just that the dragons hold a monopoly on the dragonflies. How dare they? Mole children deserve <laughs> dragonflies too to act as their eternal bodyguards. Darn, too far. Just right. Let's try and jump. I don't know why, but w distances always make me go, hmm, can I actually reach that? Make me question if I can or can't. Always makes me worry. Time for spider mole powers. Let's -a go. We have to do all the mid 2000s platforming trends of the day. At least these spiders can't just respawn. There's no respawn, like, areas. The trapdoor respawn places. Having to deal with respawning spiders as this kid would be nightmarish. And before blowing you up, we will get all the gems we can. Because over a thousand gems is very nice, considering we're trying to save up. I swear you could aim while you were hanging. It is entirely possible that I tried to throw a bomb first, which is still weird that it exploded on me. It just It's just very convenient that when I tried to shoot while hanging, I exploded. <laughs> Do not want to do for fun. Now let's see, which way? This way, because I think, let's see. Because, hmm, this does seem to go to a shorter area, so might as well. Is this the deader end? It is the deader end, but it is also the way we must go. I shall burn you. Spin the wheel through the power of pole dancing, because hmm, it is more than likely the other one is over there anyways, because there is three, I believe, the surfer otter said. But first, we must gather up all the gems. We will steal this land's wealth for the dragon. Oh, it's a different. Oh, it's not. <laughs> it's not. Oh, dang it. I'm a fool. Double fool. It doesn't help that the camera is baked into this angle, and I don't really like it. I do like that there's, like, apparently different puzzles per wheel. That is kind of cool. Just not that the baked, not the baked, uh, camera angle. I don't want to hit my head on the coming down platform. I feel like they- dang it! I- why is it a baked camera angle? I don't like baked camera angles! Let me see what the fuck I'm doing! 
It just seems unnecessary. It's like, oh, we have to give the player just... This is a very obvious jump to the next thing. Let me see with my eyes. <laughs> I would like to see with my eyes, please. It does feel a little, like, uh, finicky. And now it goes eternally. And I shall kill you. Oh, for a moment there I thought I hit nothing, but these guys are just really fast at shooting. Well, screw you. How di- Once again, mixed up the charge. How dare. Must be a Nork tradition. Oh, hey. Ah, we need to- Thunder! Lightning, thunder, same thing. They are tied to electricity. And I missed a pile of gems there. <laughs> okay, apparently I've, when it comes to the diddly dees, the little shooting guys, I miss them all. Someone in YouTube chat said that I missed a gold gem near the wheel. I don't see it. Up high, they say. Ah, there it is. How much are you worth? A decent amount. Now come here, armadillos, you must die. For my healing. And now I believe we... And I'm gonna get hit by that when we open up again. Why are you so fast at shooting? Alright. Hello and welcome to Spyro being mildly racist. Personally thought I was beyond you, but all right. Die. You feel like electricity should be able to blast through the armor. Maybe take a while to kill them, but still kill them all the same. Ah, this is just a little platforming challenge to come over here for more jewels. Which is interesting, because jewels and gems aren't really, like, an important thing in this game. Hmm. I hear shiny shine. I wonder if it'll blow you up with, like, a cannon or something. Or is there a shiny shine underneath you? Or maybe do I need to climb? I can climb. I hear the shiny shine. <laughs> Maybe there's the blinding light is the treasure. The treasure was the blinding light we <laughs> murdered ourselves for along the way. We'll deal with everything in the water after we do all this. Now free this ocean. We have risen Atlantis. Poseidon owes me lots of money for this. Wonder if I can fly from here into that hole. Or if it's meaningless to do this. 
This seems like a place I could have gotten to anyway. Oh well. Ah, because it wants me to go this way. The light whistles remind me of Pokemon Snap. Like, I believe the main menu. Oh, first things first, we'll go grab that. I knew I heard something. Personally, I would have put it on top because, I don't know, it felt right. Honestly, we're getting very close to being able to... Wonder, can I kill you? Or are they here to kill me? It's kind of hard to aim, so I don't know if I just missed my hitbox, or if those are just unkillable. Also, little annoying that my gems, when I smash these, don't automatically get picked up. It feels like they usually do, but these don't. Weird. But either way, killing enemies in this game isn't the most important thing, so really, I can ignore them. In a normal Spyro game, not knowing if I can kill an enemy, bad. In this game, eh, fine enough. I'm um, sure. <laughs> I was just like, okay, <laughs> I don't know what to do with you. Think there was a chest in the water? We might be able to jump back. Depends. Alright, that's a bit trippy. Long elevator. Long elevator. I presume that this is sending me to, like, another area. So I'll need to, like, uh... Yep, Sunken Ruins, new area! And I guess we'll continue a bit down here. Dang it. Until we get to, like, uh... Very rude, how dare. <laughs> Sparks the coward. He comes in just to flee again. Speaking of relieving, uh, die. Dang it. Keep forgetting that I have bombs. And we'll teleport away. Back over here so we can uh, do more exploring this direction. And then we can always come back later. <laughs> you can just charge the shards, you don't need to horn dive. But it proves that I'm an epic gamer by horn diving them. Even if I fail a million times. Just gonna hunt the fodder to heal up sparks with their hilarious screams. Now, where's one more? You must feed my dragonfly. Let's see. I suppose, let's see. Let's go this way. So this is better than uh, Enter the Dragonfly so far. Most definitely. The story, while basic, is much better. These guys are still very annoying. So just need to bait out their attack, then I can combo them. But like all the other enemies in this game, they're like, I automatically attack if I so much as see you. They tried to preempt my attacks. How dare they? 
Don't they know that they're an enemy in a video game and must die by my hand? Also, it kind of looks like these crabs are wielding guns, but it's just their claws are differently colored. So this is the beach where, like, the main cutscene happened. Like, when we got here. After we beat up Nork again. Oh, you, you're actually charging me. They're learning to go on the offensive. <laughs> YouTube chat says, I'd rather have basic story than bad. That's true. Like, it feels reminiscent to, like, Spyro 1. Spyro 1's story. Would have been nice if there was, like, uh, a bit more story. But it's not terrible. How dare you exist in my world. Ah, we'll go over there, smash that wall, presumably to get that Yoshi egg. Then we'll go into the water. Um, hello, turtle lady. Spyro, thank goodness you're here. My hatchlings can't seem to get into the water. And naturally, with you being a turtle, I want my newborn children to be able to go into the ocean unsupervised. Sure. Last time we helped baby turtles, it was to stop them from going into water. Save the turtles by killing all attacking enemies. Ah, back to this, huh? Murder time. They're just immediately coming in. I need to look at... Uh, The vultures are just... greedy. They come in swooping. Quit coming in swooping, you greedy bastards. Leave the children alone. Jesus, lady, how scrumptious are your children? I hate the flyers. They're attacking way too much. I think one of the children got scooped because of the flyers. Jesus Christ. There are way too many flyers. Way too many fucking flyers! What the fuck? <laughs> I thought vultures were scavengers and lived around dry, arid areas, says YouTube chat. Well, from my experience, it, well, from my knowledge, it seems like uh, scavengers can always kill as well. It's just they usually try to scavenger. I'll let you see my turtle milkies. Well, I'm just losing my mind because this is going to be harder too. Fucking birds. There's so many birds. I can hardly take my cannon off I can't aim at all of these fucking flyers
They're just coming in from all over the fucking place. At least I don't have to really worry about the crabs as much. There's the, the the flyers are way too bothersome in my opinion. Jesus Christ. Why do you send an army for children? You'd think they'd send this kind of army for an adult. You're not gonna have much food, even if you get these children. Jesus. It's harder because now the baby turtles need to reach the sea they didn't before? I rose. I'd make you the children's godfather, except I know you'd rather have a <laughs> gem. So here. Hilarious. Welcome to the world of Spyro. Where the only things that matter is light gems and dragon eggs. Hmm. Ah, fl flying shell platforms. Again, these little, like, whistle parts totally remind me of uh, instrumentation from Pokemon Snap. Only lightly, but still, it amuses me. Who even enchanted these to move? That's the real question. Hmm. Maybe I was supposed to... I was probably supposed to do this after the other area, it feels like. At least to activate the light gem diddly-dee. I guess because I did the minigame, all those dudes respawned. I shall buy one additional that and trying to save up for the headbutt technology. <laughs> Godfather Spyro. <laughs> you come to my horde on the night of my god turtle's wedding. And YouTube chat, hello there, Neon. Hello, hello. We are playing more Spyro and it's much fun. Go ahead, swing again. And I am a fool, because I forgot that's how you activate that. Still don't know why they changed it from, like, just pressing the triangle button, because there's not many situations where it being the triangle button would interfere. Do we need to collapse their houses? Time to destroy homes. Spyro, the home wrecker. For some reason, that reminds me of a uh, Lightning McQueen meme. I fucked your mom, shit lips. Only it's Spyro. You bastard. Your shockwaves are illegal in 50 states. You need 20 white <laughs> you need 20 white gems to open this door. We have as many. 
Uh, it seems like a short jaunt, so let's go in. And I will say this again. Vultures don't live near beaches. But there's sand! And everybody knows vultures like sand. Why else would they be in the desert? Hilariously, they probably don't even live in deserts. I don't know where animals live. Ah, shit. It's the firing squad. It's the Nasty Nork Firing Squad. And they are trying to fire at me. Oh, hey, it's an egg dude. You didn't make that egg. Now get back and fuck its mother like a real man. Because the only way to get eggs from these guys is flame breath, if I believe, remember? All the while, I'm probably being shot at by the Firing Squad. Dang it. You, you seem much faster than the egg thieves from the previous games. My egg now. Cause I, this is probably close enough for these guys to try and shoot at me. Which is very annoying. Nope. Kinda wish that could have been a platform. Hmm. I pro I'm, I'm probably out of... Huh. At least I got that guy. But I think I'm out of firebombs, so... I have to dodge that guy's arrows! For some reason, these guys were a lot less aggressive than the previous arrow throwers. And we'll just double check to make sure, like, because I think I might have saw, like, a purple flower and went, oh no, I missed a gym. Nope. Interesting that this is just, like, a little extra area with just more gems, it looks like. Like, not even light gems, just normal gems. Maybe that's not going to be all secret areas going forward, but... Kind of weird introduction to them. Let's see. Oh, we're nearby. Might as well head back in. Triple check. Don't want to go down the wrong path and end up dead. We got to kill more fodder. Rejuvenate sparks. I can imagine, like, Sparks and Spyro getting into an argument. And he's like, well, how about I be your <laughs> the shield and you be the flame-breathing dragon hero? Then just cut to Spyro running around, eating dragonflies. Look, Sparks, I'm just like you! Let's see. Uh, since this seems to be a dead end way, we'll go this way first. And not the... that That's... Right as I was going, uh, kind of improperly running through, I went, wait a minute. That's convulsing. That is quicksand. It looked like normal floor, then I heard the noise. Blah. Ah, gotta avoid the quicksand. All right. Interesting. One of these platforms will be for. I hear bees. Well, this is a 
weird place. I'm probably gonna have to fly through all those. Say goodbye to your home, little man. You didn't pay the protection fee. Dang it, I missed. All right, so I need to activate from there, run all the way back, and then glide. Well, I guess I just all I just need to get back to get to the top of here. So it's not like a terrible thing. Dang it. Oh wait. I that could have worked. I just didn't expect the, like the mechanics to tie together like that. In terms of the control feel. At this point, why not just have it be an automatic thing that I can just do? Why have it be tied to a time button? Since I'm going that way anyway, if I fail, I have to run back. Like, I don't know. It feels weird. Whoosh. Dang it. Like, it's just far enough away where I need to hold the button to glide. And then it also kind of... Makes me go, is this just like with Blink, where I need to double jump each time to be able to pole dance? Or what? Okay, zoop. Zoop. Dang it, I almost had that one too. It also seems like it does damage, which just seems like overkill? Why? Why would you make it do damage? I already have to spend my time, which is much more like <laughs> you're just compounding how much time you're wasting of mine. Just like, why? This feels weird. Huzzah. Little clunky overall. Don't think I was supposed to do that, but I did. So, huh, suck it. Hey, Spyro, over here. Hey, Spyro, over here. Come on, bring the hammer down. You taunted, and that is why you died. Let me see. I guess I'll check out this wall. That looks like a portal. Looks like another thing. So we're going to go do the other thing first, actually. And we'll activate once again. Why did they swap charge and flame? Just feels like a weird choice overall. Ah, crap. Yeah, but it doesn't look like lightning kills these guys. Again, I hate that. Quit preempting my attacks. I have to, like, just fake them out. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> why do you? Why is your attack so fast? That's annoying. That's a, that's not dangerous. It's just annoying. How dare game. We'll go up here first. Because we risk dying to that guy. Because game has very fast attack patterns for some reason. Like, why even do that? F 
fast attack patterns in the game where they swapped the attack buttons on top of it. Just like everything is mean. Why? Why you do this to me? Why do you come here on the night of my god turtle's wedding to punch me in the balls? Oh yeah, I forgot about that yellow gem that was like underneath the tower. Yep, I have enough for the upgrade now. But first we'll see what this is and possibly die. But either way, we'll this will probably just unlock the next area. It's another area thing, so let me see. How much do I have? Hmm, doesn't tell me there. Weird. But you'll tell me, money bags. Well, actually, there's only one more area. Well, we might as well teleport to you so I can heal up, but then let's see. I have precisely enough, so I, but I don't have enough to actually go back and buy it. Oh, the cruelties of capitalism. Well, we can go this way and get the errant yellow gym. Luckily, I basically have Sparks' grab range without Sparks, which honestly is just a nice thing to have. Yeah. And then we're back here. We might as well go heal up by the upgrade, which way a bit goes this way. And then we will go the other way. And try to finish this area out. But there's still that one... Light gem in that one segment. Here, father. Feed my dragonfly. No, that is not a euphemism. Spend, 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 indeed. And now, head back this way. And really, in the first area, heading back to money bags without buying a teleport pass isn't the worst thing in the world. And this is the way to go. Huh, neat that that actually works. It's already paying for itself. That's odd, I can walk around it. Get lightninged, idiot. Ready to explore the sunken ruins? Probably. Uh, looks like there's going to be a lot of pole dancing to do. Get your leg band and dick ready, Spyro. Because now these ones are on timer. Alright, not... Ah, interesting. I can kind of cheese it. Never mind. Dang it, I almost... <laughs> I was almost able to... Go all the way. Go for the super cheese. Now the real cheese is the fact that these don't automatically get added to my inventory if I smash the bottles. Which is just very annoying. So there's almost like no reason to... You know what? There's no reason to. I'll explore elsewhere, see if there's any secrets down here, but otherwise, no. Weird. I guess that's just weird coral. Either that or the Chosen One. But yeah, there's really no reason to come down here and deal with the annoying... ...bottles that refuse to open properly. 
<laughs> I should warn you about the piranhas, says YouTube chat. Luckily, these waters have no piranhas. At least not seemingly. Dang it. I also dislike the waiting ones. It's like, I want to play the game, not watch the game. While the controller is my ha in my hand, and I'm the one doing the commentary. Damn it. I already had to do a waiting one earlier. Why do you have to do it again so soon? Dang it, game. Why can't you just have the controls be nice and easy? Jump onto it. Oh, uh, no, we're going to put it just far enough away to encourage you to glide. Come on. Build fun mini games, ones that aren't annoying and waste my time. So I have to slightly, and we have to wait because we got here just in time for it to be at the top, but not enough time for it to be here. Bleg you. Oh, come on. That was directly at it. Game. Very annoying. I wonder if I could just wait here and wait for it to come down. Maybe, but that's just more waiting. Bleg. I'm not liking this area, because it's like, ah, timing and precision. And it's just long enough that it's annoying to wait. But the- <laughs> Game why? Game why? I did that correctly and you screwed me anyway. Why? Because it also doesn't help that he, like, angles to, like, the very end, and I don't think that I can move around, so I feel screwed either way when he gets to the end there. <clears throat> so I can only maneuver mid-air. It's weird. Uh, dang it. Game! I hate it. They don't wait that long, because, like, oh, it has to be quick enough to get back if the player's waiting, but they don't wait for you to go. It's annoying. It's fine when it's just a static system, but they're like, oh, we have to challenge it. It just becomes annoying. Like, maybe if there were indicators of, like, oh, it is going to take this long until it moves again. Maybe. Alright, I'm going... Either this is a blind jump, or I just need to do it at the height. Ever so slightly annoying, that. That was just for the egg. I wonder if I could just glide from here. In fact, maybe they do want me to. Either way, that's how I did it. Intentioned, not intentioned. It is now. And I'm gonna have to do it again to get those treasure chests if I want them. Then again, they're just gems, and I got all the major upgrades, so I probably don't care. Besides, there's the same, there's even more treasure chests over here anyway. And then over here, and that unlocks you. Considering that gems are not a part of completion, I do not care. Not sure if that's what I was supposed to do either, but I take those. Smash. And now that'll probably raise the water a bit to maybe let me get that other gym. Nope, just makes it so, hmm, weird. 
Then I wonder, how do I get you to activate then? Might as well try to get this light gem, unless it is a later down the line light gem, which I don't know why, don't know, don't see why it would be. Do not have light gem out in the open if you do not want me to uh, try and get. Like, I don't know. Because obviously I need to get that to spin. I probably need a different breath. That's probably what it is. I probably need a different breath. More than likely. Considering that it's out there, and it has a platform right next to it that you need to seemingly attack the wheel for, I can only imagine I need to get a different breath. And of course, here, yeah, fodder. Here, yeah, fodder. Come out and die. <laughs> Did I just wipe all the all of them from ex from the face of the planet? Well, we have the money. Let's see. Might as well. Oh. I guess I can just buy them infinitely. And you know what? Ooh, that really is a good choice. I buy one of you because I can, and then we'll teleport. Let's see. I guess the sunken ruins, since that is what we have activated. But remember, while you're out at sea, remember to stay hydrated. Is most important. Now let's see. Hmm. Are you open or are you closed? You are just the loop around. Got it. But you, you are open. Ah, so I can kill them. I don't even know if that was an actual thing attacking me or what. Um, probably you. Which is rude. Game just failing to tell me that there was an enemy out to kill me. Get electrified, fish man. It's your fate. Spyro is now the father of 26. Let's see. This almost feels like it could be a boss arena. In any other game, I would think that's a boss arena. But this Spiral game doesn't really do bosses. Alright, kind of odd. Was I supposed to see something? Because... Because we can just escape through there, so... Where did it go? I hear the wind, but I can't see it anymore. My usage of it. Nope, nope, now it's back. Randomly. I'm gonna use my first person view. Ah, I think I see. Maybe. I hate that they kinda disappeared, though. So they're timed, I guess? That's weird. It does aim me this way. For a moment, oh damn you. 
Why not just have them perpetual? Why are they timed? This, this is dumb. Oh, it's a challenge! No, it's just dumb. Have them just be there and then, yeah, the player flies from one to another. It, it shouldn't be timed. <laughs> Especially with no indicator. Yeah, because if it was just there perpetually, it would be perfectly fine. Just oddly, they decided to make it timed. Weird. Just weird decision, that. Come on, electricity totally could light that. <laughs> I like the fact that it's still playing the cheery music even though you're in the sunken ruins. They have to get all they can out of the music. Yeah, that's just a weird design. Maybe they can only have so many current, air current effects going at a single time? I don't know. One second. Need to go back and buy more lock picks. More lock picks are required, especially because some of them hold. Some of those hold eggs, which are very important. Luckily, we have the key ring. Which isn't really used for keys, it's for lock picks. Man, Sparks must be a terrible lock picker. He br keeps breaking the lock picks. Sure, he opens every single one, but he keeps breaking the lock picks. I don't want to talk to game, I wanted to go over there! What sort of fish are you? Game. And where are your fins? I'm I mean, I kind of have a fin on my head. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <sighs> Chicks. Somehow, Alora hears that, and she immediately comes to murder Spyro. Just make sure. Well, so follow the markers. It said. I don't see any branching paths yet. Don't even know what markers she's talking about. Blarg. Aha! Maybe break through here? No. Just a... Hmm. There are breaks in the wall, but they're not walls that we can break. Ah, over here! Again, I hate that you preempt me. It's challenge! Nah. What do you gotta say, Mr. Mole? How limited is it? I think I have exactly that. Maybe one less. Interesting. Also kind of random. Oh, because I need to go in there. I need it to access other area. 
that's just mean. How dare you have a throwing starfish. We'll run up ahead for the next shop. Maybe teleport back to heal up. Oh, wait. Nope, nope, nope. Game. Maybe I can run back up. I can run back up. I think. Okay, good. I can. We shall teleport back to Munch on Fodder, because we can. How does Spyro know her name? They just met for the first time. Spyro is just magical. Here, Fodder. You must die to feed the dragonfly. So that I can delve back into the ruins. Maybe the crabs are trying to kill me for what I'm doing to their hermit crab brethren. Feel free to browse my fine wells, Spyro. And spend, spend, spend. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Then we'll head back and use that invincibility power-up. We have to go through the purple dimension. Every single time. We're not going to go that way. We have to go back up and swim through the goo, I guess. Which I guess might be the follow the... Why the fuck? <laughs> That's just annoying. Why you exist? Might as well use it... To destroy you guys so that you don't have to worry about you. And you're preempting me. All right, nice and fast. And just opens the door. Luckily, I did it first try. So it was nice and quick. Alright, another invincibility power up. A Sparks mini game. Again, this fi yes! Okay, I didn't I did somehow I missed the giant hole. Somehow I missed the giant hole. Don't tell me how. I can't tell you how either. It's like I look away and more holes start to appear. Well, I guess before anything, back to Star Fox. Maybe. This looks like a job for Sparks. Hooray. You sound bored. So you want me to risk my life while you stand guard out there? Of course. We must try for a dragon egg. Let's see if I can remember the controls. All right. All right, their hitboxes are way too big for where they are in the camera. Got you, game. The hitboxes for everything is way too big. That's annoying. Dang it. Yeah, the hitbox is just for everything is annoyingly big. And again, no hit frames, so I can't actually do anything about that. I am beginning to not like this game because your hitboxes are shit.
because I can't even make any plays because they spawn too close for their goddamn hitboxes. The hitboxes, dude, I don't like them! Because now I'm just too, like, I don't even want to try and make plays to actually play the game because all the hitboxes are terrible. So that bomb, like, only killed one guy. Oh, crap. There's a ton of spiders. That's instant... Man, fuck Sparks' stages. These are badly designed, honestly. These are meant to be mini-games. Why are they just so... Like, nah, you, these are their hitboxes the size of Montana. They have to be true difficulty. The crushes have to be true to life. You get crushed, you die. Whereas if you touch a bee, you just are one-fourth the way from death. Because, like, mainly it's the hitboxes that I'm annoyed by. Because, like, if the hitboxes weren't so egregious, then maybe the instant crush wouldn't annoy me so much. But considering the hitboxes, I need to be careful on what's the other side, too. I can't trust nothing. And not to mention, complete and total lack of, like, like, blah, 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 what is it called? Invincibility frames. And it happened again, because it's just like, I hate you, game. Why is he so annoying? He's a mini-game. Why even make it, if you don't even want players to experience it? Because at this point, it becomes more about just ignoring... Why even have things fall from the sky? Again, the lack of invincibility frames is just unacceptable. We're gonna have enemies come through the door and then kill you because the door kills you. Ah, but we can't let players, like, uh, damage boost through things. That wouldn't be true to the minigame. Think of Sparks' honor as fucking rocks fall from the sky. You know, for that camera angle that allows you to see up. That we totally added to the game. All I'm saying is there's a reason why these guys probably were never called up by Nintendo's. Like, hey, would you like to make a Star Fox game? It's because they knew. They saw this and knew exactly what not to do. Ah, uh, that's the super bomb. For some reason, I thought the missiles were the super bomb. Or, like, super bomb equivalent. But I guess if you just want specific targets dead immediately. Again, why the hitboxes? My little bloody things don't hit nothing. But the enemies, they exist. And that's enough for everything to die. He 
It's a bloody mini game. You don't need to make it super uber difficult. Except now it's going to be super duper uber difficult because we have to go in for a light gem. Well, then that's just another failure on you, devs. You couldn't even make a reason for him to carry out a dragon egg. But the hitboxes are that big. How dare you? Have you no love for your craft game developers? You love your hitboxes, but not the game. Again, why have things fall from above? randomly with no way to tell where they're coming from like maybe have like sh like super sheer shadow block out the area that they're going to fall so players like have the option to dodge that would be nice also again my bloody bullets are not shooting the things that I am aiming at and I am fairly certain should be hitting. Hurts me so much. I get within the zip code of an enemy, I take damage. My bullets, like, graze by their wings like the world's greatest acrobat. Pacifist bullets. Oh, I hate you. Damn it. Somehow I made it through decently quick. I don't think I... Did I die once? I may have died once. Bleg. Should be called Sparks the Dragonfly. That was your last game. It was called Into the Dragonfly and it sucked. And that's why there was never again a Sparks the Dragonfly game. Well, actually, before I just charge on down there. Hmm. Like, it doesn't seem like there's much down there. Just enemies and stuff. So why did we get an invincibility power up down here? Made me more paranoid for what was to come. I thought like, oh no, invincibility power up. There has to be something dangerous down there. Nope. At least not it's so. No, it doesn't look so. And I assume that this would just take me back up if I electrified it, but let's try it. Cool, it does... Wait. Why the fuck are you up there? Huh. Ah, uh, because I need the climbables. I need the climbables, but I don't have that ability yet. Oh, the backtracking is going to be painful. Obviously, I need to do stuff up top, which means we need to clear out the bottom first so that we can totally just one-shot it. Also nice that the head smash upgrade makes it more efficient to smash those things, too. Huzzah. Luckily, I recently stocked up, so give me the goods. Another dragon egg. Alright. Sure. 
Whatever you say, game. I totally did it legitimately. I don't know what that was all about, but sure. Do that just in case uh, so I don't just randomly yeet myself into the abyss with the charge. Ah, nine more light gems until I can power the diddly D in Crocoville Swamp, says Twitch chat. I do like to be reminded. Hmm, interesting. I just need to remember where that... Oh, yeah, the supercharge in that one area. Now, oh, that's definitely a... What's it called? Uh, invincibility platform diddly. Gather up all the collectibles. See if there's anything here. I presume that that's like a way to go. Is it? I don't think I meant to be here. All right, so this isn't the same place, right? For a moment, it kind of looked like it. <laughs> they, obvi <laughs> they obviously just took the, like... The character model for that kind of character and applied a different texture to it. But that looks hilarious. <laughs> oh, dang it. just fly over if possible? Dang it, I almost did. Or is it on... I'm gonna have to go back and forth a lot, huh? Dang it. I'm gonna recharge this. Because I'm used to, like, old Spyro charging mechanics. Where, like, I could hold charge and jump. And, like, continue my adventures nice and dandy. But this is an interesting thing. Utterly horrible for the poor suckers who weren't going for as many light gems as me. Which I do think is a little oversight on the design. Then again, most of the light gems have been simple enough to get I am a foo. Honestly, I'm beginning to wonder if the double jump has just made things more difficult than anything. Which then activates the shard to diddly dees on the next one. Ah, they have movement. Great. My favorite. Inexplicable movement. Through the power of invincibility, I swim. I may be invincible, but I can still be bullied. Hmm, so we're obviously going to have to smash something to smash that. Smash a thing so that it smashes for me. Woot. Woot. Oh, never mind. They're not moving. 
Woot. And smash. Their faces are horrifying when broken. Maybe all the Atlantean people will stop trying to murder me! Well, the moment, eh? I, oh yeah, that this this just must be a tunnel back because I for some reason my brain was like, wait, this is too long. It should be like a door, not a hallway. I don't know why. My brain is a fool. Open sesame. Another dragon egg. I'm, I'm debating in my mind if I like or dislike that a bunch of eggs are in lockpick chests. Because on the one hand, that gives the... Like, the light of the, uh, the, the lockpick's purpose. Or like, a, yeah, like the lockpick's purpose. Which means you also have a use for your gems, even late into the game. But then that's kind of all it is, is a justification for the the gems to be strewn about everywhere so you can then go buy lockpicks after you've bought all the, the upgrades. I still want to go back up there. Because... Could have sworn that there was, like, stuff. Other stuff. Ah, the platform's moving now. I don't think it was before. Which means something's over there. Hey, Neon, nice Sylveon model. Thank you very much. Brain just got it in head. Hey, why not make a Sylveon model? And then slowly I whittled away at it, and then bam. Maybe one of these days I will make a dragon model. Hmm. <sighs> now Brain has thoughts. Now Brain wants to put off doing the Legend of Spyro. Damn you. Just so I can make a PNG tuber model. Hmm. I will begin trying to sketch it out and see if I can make a, a dragon PNG tuber model for the Legend of Spyro streams at the very least. And then I can just swap between them at random. <laughs> like, for some games, I can go and be like, hey. Ah, there you are, my favorite one. I'm just gonna teleport back. So that I can heal up as well as grab those, f uh, grab the lockpicks a bit cheaper. But yeah. Once I have a spread of PNG tuber models, I can just swap between them whenever relevant. Like I play a Pokemon game, use the Sylveon model. If I play like a Spyro game or a dragon based game, I use my dragon model. For miscellaneous, I'll use whatever I want. Like my classic cat model. Or whatever I'm feeling like. My favorite wallet. You will not live to see dawn. Nothing but the best. Honestly, at this point... Oh, wait. Butterfly jar. If I buy this, does it just stick around, or is this just a thing I buy to make Sparks full health on the go? It's not a fairy bottle from Legend of Zelda, I presume. It is probably just... Restore on the go. Oh, it sticks around, you think? Hmm. Well, I should be... Eh, I can pay the tax, I guess. Make it 2,000. Give the gems extra purpose. Ah, there you are, my favorite one. Oh, yep, yeah, it sticks around. Neat. 
I say it again, feels like a boss arena. I oh, don't bag mixed it up again. Oh, I probably messed that up. Well, it seems to be permanently active. Ah, dang it. Because I'm trying to get my bearings. I activate V. Damn it, we didn't get to see Spyro pole dance a little. This is a thing. Again, why did they swap the diddly days? Oh, fuck off! <laughs> game? Oh, triple fuck off game. I'm trying to jump onto your bloody, bloody blood blood thing. And you're just like, ah, oh, no, you didn't do it right. It bothers me immensely. <laughs> The hit detection on these things sometimes. Woo. I wonder what that'll be. Probably a dark gem from the looks of it. Initially, I wondered if it might be... Like a... I don't know. Some kind of breath attack. And then I'll have to go around the edge again. To gather up all the treasures I'm missing by doing this correctly. Or maybe it'll clear up everything and I'll be able to do it normally. Yep, just a dark gem. Probably still dangerous to touch. How did they even plant a dark gem there? I'm almost curious. Oh, it's meant to kill you. How dare I destroyed the dark gem. Very rude game. I wanted to test it out. At that point, why even have it? Again, why did they swap the charge and flame buttons? Makes no sense to do that, yet they just did for no reason. It's such an odd change. Just the most odd change in the universe. Just out of any change you could make, why would that be the one you'd want to make? It's just, it's just so odd. Sure, I wasted my instant health up thingy, but oh well. Why do you have range? You should not have range. At this point, I really should just start ignoring those guys. Quit giving enemies range. It's annoying me. But we have to make the, the fighting difficult. No, you have to make it fun. It just bothers me. 
I don't know why, but that feels threatening. <laughs> like it's coming for my head. I believe... Is this what it wants me to do? Maybe. Maybe is the answer. Yeah, we're just going back to the beginning. In the beginning. Spyro gets all the bitches. You'd think with all the repairing I've done to their home, these Atlantis fish people should adore me, but no, they just keep attacking me. Like a bunch of jerks. Let me quickly check my map of the coastal region. Hmm. I believe the other, yeah, the other teleporter is to the far, or not teleporter, but elevator. The other transportation doohickey is uh, all the way in a different direction. But we'll go here to buy things. The other area we can't do yet because it's like the destroy all ten diddly d dark gems and then go there thing. Unless there's another area that I'm missing. Yeah, because like that place to the top can't go there yet. But then what other area? Because yeah, the, the elevator is where we're going to to go to the other area. The domain doorstep. That is where we are going. We were going there for for buyings, for stocking up on the things. And down we go. Oh, up we go. Ah, to the cloudy hell. Well, let me quickly see. Task list. Access cloudy domain. I think that's... Yeah. <laughs> Collect reward. Oh, I need to return to auto. Uh. Well, that works out well because I did forgot to kill fodder to heal myself. So we'll get to the first teleporter and then head back. Or... Because either way, we have to go back to auto anyway. Get annihilated, idiot. Feel free to browse my fine wares, Spyro. And spend, spend, spend. And plus, that'll lead me close to auto as well. Get back here and die, fodder. Sometimes Sparks eats quickly, sometimes he doesn't. Alright, now we need to go behind me. This way, to auto. To collect our reward. Our eternal reward. I'll just ignore you. Shocked auto face. And plus, I need to completely forgot that this place also had stuff to do. Apparently. More gems. More light gems. Yeah, and then that was just uh, to continue on the normal way. So, yep, back we go. To head to the cloudy place. We're gonna go to heaven. 
so we can send some people to hell. At this point, I'm your only wallet. Wouldn't it be hilarious if we still, like, beat him up to take all our money back? And then it's just, like, tens of thousands of gems returned. I didn't expect that to happen. Let me check my map. Hmm. Alright, that guy did nothing. He did not even try to stop me. He just stands there. Hmm. Like maybe this is for a... Nope, that's just a smashy smash. It was differently colored, so I wondered for a moment if that was like a... Oh, die, please. You tried to shoot me. That's illegal. Very nice music that's playing it as well. Ah, so this is the Skylands that I've heard so much about. This is where Spyro undergoes his goblinification. Oh. I forgot, that has better range, so I should use that. Get bled, idiot. Oh, that was a trap. Oh. That's kind of weird to throw that in there out of nowhere. Especially because my save point's so far away. How dare you? Just randomly done. The fuck with the player. Hmm. Oh, you thought that you were gonna have fun? Well, no. No fun for you. Especially because it's, like, right near the end. Like, why would you do that? Again, the music's very nice. It's like, it's just very interesting music. Still kind of goes with the vibe that this game is putting out with its music. Yeah, weird that it introduces force field that goes away after touching platform. Now. That's, like, not even the one I was expecting to get blown up. But Light Gem acquired. Get lightninged, idiot. Also, I for, uh, forgot it's good that you're playing every Sparrow on platform console. 
Like, I don't even think, like, s the only Spyro game that I think's on PC is, like, uh... Alright, don't even know how to kill you. Well, that's just mean. I guess bombs. I guess I could throw bombs at him, but still. You throw weird enemies at me. But yeah, like, the only in like the only Spyro game that I think's even on PC is the Reignited Trilogy. Everything else would be played with a controller anyway. Like, how are you supposed to kill those guys anyway? <laughs> they have armor, so I don't think lightning would work. I tried to go by them. Like, am I supposed to come back after doing a thing? Well, you're doing a... Then put this segment after I get the thing game. Like, that's how I would do things. Especially because this map is not really indicative of anything. It's kind of hard to know how I'm supposed to pace myself. When you don't really put anything anywhere. Then again, maybe they're expecting you to not be able to kill these guys anyway. I don't know. Maybe it is just a gauntlet of run for your life beginning there for some reason. Okie doke. I got light, Jim. I need to run the way back. Either that or die. I got the light, Jim. I win either way. Yeah, just... I don't know. It feels wrong. It feels wrong, this segment. Yeah, that segment just felt weird to do. Yeah, I can only imagine that this is Dodge the Enemies segment. Which, okie doke. I'm gonna come down here. Get an egg. I said get egg. Damn you, game. Like, who knows? Maybe it does want me to go in a different way to, like, get a power-up or something. But if so, then... What kind of shit power-up are you making one the player to get? I guess we'll continue up that way, see if there's anything I'm missing. But again... Have these things activate after player gets upgrade you want them to use. I don't know. It's just like it's a weird vibes up here so far. It is the <laughs> the age old question: Is this an intentional design feature or is Neon dumb? Am I supposed to come back later or is this a thing I can do now? Vote now on your phones. Why wouldn't you grab the ledge, Spyro? I'm beginning to think they didn't remove, like, lives out of the goodness of their hearts. It's because they knew the game would be bad if it had a live system. That's just annoying. <laughs> Come on, let me kill enemies. I dislike not being able to kill things that are trying to kill me. All in the sake of... Because why? Why design this? I don't like it. It seems almost random if I kill... Like, if I can get by without being hit or if they hit me and I instantly die. This is not fun design. This does not spark joy. Because I have to, like, dodge first. And then they hit me anyway, even though I dodged first. Fun game. It's just annoying. Again, maybe there's a thing that the game wants me to get first and then go this way, to which I again repeat, 
If so, open up this path after I get the thing that makes it possible. Because it's just annoying design. Game, game. Bleg. Bleg you. This game doesn't have the wing shield. <laughs> that was the other game. And besides, wing shield does not protect me mid-flight. Yeah, because again, it also doesn't help that the map is just all over the place. So I don't know what it wants from me. All right, interesting. Um, well, you're just an annoying little bitch, aren't you? Game, why? Why does <laughs> this, this is annoying? Once again, do not like enemies I cannot hit. And he was just hovering there eternally to annoy me. Why? But interesting platforming design. Like, I could see this being, like, in a game. Like, as the main mechanic. But, God. Why is, like, the main... Like, design principle of this game seem to be, let's annoy the player. Let's go around them. You're like, this is a cool idea. A little annoying to get to, though. Because, again, I would pref vastly prefer it if I could actually attack enemies. And, again, entirely possible that this is all my fault and I'm missing an upgrade. But I would still say... If you want me to have an upgrade, make it obviously clear that an upgrade is needed. Because I don't know, like, I don't even know what would be used to a fight enemies that are slightly out of reach and flying. I'm just throwing it out there in case somebody in the future goes, Why didn't you go along the planned path? Because they put a split path. And I was uncertain. Okay, good. I didn't want that guy hovering over me forever again. But this is a cool platforming system. And I don't think I've seen it many places before. I have to worry about when I get close to you to activate. Yeah, I was just sitting there going, please die, please die, please die. Ah, it's an egg thief chase. And I completely negated the, the chase. Interesting. Again, I have no idea if I'm going the right way. Or if I'm just finagling it. Again, the, the fact that the map isn't any help is a little annoying. And I just don't want them hovering over me like that one guy did. And it's weird that my lightning breath doesn't, like, lock on to these ones as good as the past ones. Also, it's getting very foggy. Oh, but I think I made it. 
to the other side, of which these chickens shall not. Get blasted. Hmm. So it feels like that's like a roundabout way, maybe? I don't know. Again, just feels weird, and the map doesn't help at all. Bar chickens up here. It makes no sense. They are the ancient chickens that knew how to fly. I guess, maybe. Huzzah. Go ahead, Spyro. If you've got money to spend, I am here to relieve you of the burden. Guess while I'm here, I will buy these. Again, this map is just terrible. <laughs> It doesn't tell me where to go from where. It's just like... I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I get it. We're in the sky. Non-Euclidean geometry or whatever. Weirdness abounds, but just... It frustrates me. And for reasons I cannot say. It just makes it feel weird. Oh, hey, Sergeant Bird. Greetings, Spyro. How'd you get up here? Fighting the good fight, I trust. Oh, last. We're really high up, aren't we? <laughs> There's an area that only a third type. Oh god, he's missing now. I might be able to earn you a dragon egg or a light gem. Come on, we've been through this before. We know it's going to be both. We just have to do it twice. This will be the simple one. Then again, they give us three minutes, so either this is going to be a nightmare of a level, or it'll actually be decent. The flying controls are still a little wonky. At least wonky to feel. Why do you have things that can shoot me? Why? So, also, how did I drop bombs? Ah, that bomb. Yeah, got it. Took me a moment. A little annoying that they can only be destroyed with bombs, but oh well. Adding in things that can shoot me, a little annoying. Especially because they can apparently do it from five million years away. And there's a lot of them. Why? Ah, so this is why there's a large timer for the player. Because it's annoying. I can't even shoot that far away. Oh, these guys drop gems. I guess it makes sense they're norks, but still. Doesn't help that the draw distance makes things a little wonky. And the map's a little big, so finding where you left off could be a bit of a bother. I think it was around here-ish. 
Then I still have to do, like, the, the other... Blast them out of the sky. Dudes, they're, like, shooting at me. Yeah, again, why have things that can fight back? That's against the rules of warfare. Especially because their auto-lock is so damn good. Like, sure, I do have boost. And man, those vultures fly all over the place. And now I'm missing, like, one arch. Or, uh, two arches. Again, a little too big of a... Oh, yeah, and the other... Now I'm missing just two arches. Again, the draw distance is a bitch on this one. Yeah, don't think I like these levels anymore. It's just bothersome. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this. It's just annoying. We're gonna have a big level. Where it's easy to lose where you were. We're gonna have things that can shoot at you. Cause you know, that's always fun. On a timed level. We're gonna have enemies that fly all over the place. So you'll never know where the fuck they are. Alright, probably shouldn't touch you, because the arcs are kind of, like, in a way. Yeah, just like, the level's too big, man. The level's too big, so I lose where I go, find another thing. So apparently I can shoot those with my bombs, it's just discouraged. Yeah, just not a fan of this level. The reason the original Spyro trilogy's fly around levels worked so well is that while they could be a little big, they were mostly condensed and concise and had like a single route. They're like, ah, we have to have two for the sake of difficulty. I just, I hate that these things have auto-lock. Stop! Please! And apparently shoot really frickin' fast if they miss you. Only mercy if they land a hit. But man, where's that final arch? As well. You don't think I'm a fan of this. Like, where is it? Where's the final one, man? Like, not even the final you. I don't care about you. Where's the final arch? I just see nothing. You don't even... S Again, doesn't help. Ah, there's the final arch, I think. Come on. Please die. And the fact that I have to do this twice infuriates me. Here you go, Spyro. This egg 
should go great with some bangers and mash. Why does everyone want to keep eating the dragon eggs? And let's see how... Who knows? Maybe this will be like the Sparks level and it'll be inexplicably easier. Also annoying that I apparently have to look at those guys to actually... Like, lock on to them. What the f fuck off? I was like, ah, I shoot at you randomly and randomly hit you. Haha. -ha. Let me just come over here, blast these guys since they're out in the open. Then again, I could have saved them. But plague. I should just drop you. And apparently that didn't hit because the bombs are worthless. And that's why they made an enemy specifically to torment you with. That infuriates me. We started over here, and they just shoot randomly, and they just are impervious to my goddamn missiles for some reason. Okay, good. I didn't hear a scream for a moment, so I was worried. Weird place for you to show up, but sure. Of course. I feel like I was moved off course from the rings. But I guess they put all the rings in the tunnels, maybe? And I lost my boost, too. That's a little frustrating. Or maybe I used it all. I don't know. Quit spamming! I hate you. Stop! I hate this! Ah, it adds difficulty. It adds annoyance. That's all it does. Like, if I could lock on to them with my missiles, it's slightly less annoying. And there is one ring I am missing. One ring to rule them all. And I heard the bloody I'm trying to shoot at you noise. I'm just not vibing with this level. Because the fly levels were always, like, to me, felt like, why do you auto-aim? Pre-fire before you even see me, jerk. Yeah, like, the beauty of the past flying levels in all the other games is, like, the loops fed into each other. So you go do one thing, you go do another. This is just like, oh, they're all over the place. Why... Just why? Why do you have a randomly spewing enemy that can only be locked on with a very finicky attack? And even if you were the last one, that one singular goddamn hoop I'm missing. Because they decided to be annoying with their level design. Then again, maybe this one's on me, but it doesn't feel like it. Oh wait, there was also a missing cannon, so I would have lost anyway. Just frustrating level design. Everything is everywhere, all at once. Yeah, because we start, and that is the end of the start of the rings. Which is frustrating. At least to me. All right, so, like, I would comment on the fact that, like, those guys are best to be taken out by just uh, flying above their range, but you're loop de duping all over the place and trying to go after other targets that it's a not very feasible most of the time to do that. Like this one, maybe. And plus, the lock-on for the bombs is finicky, too. And again, the fact that they break the, the loops... 
little frustrating. So you go back and then you miss. I gotta know. Just doesn't. <laughs> Another reason is like you're trying to go do other objectives. And you're basically punished for that. Because these guys are just firing all over the place. And your bombs are hard to aim. I'll leave those uh, vultures for last. Go this way, maybe. Get some more time. Try to finish things off. Okay, good, it actually did hit. The fact that we're just shooting all over the place bothers me. All right, we'll go this way, but where is that final ring? That's the thing that annoys me. Ho ho ho, we are cheeky developer. We put thing that you... Ah, there it is. Why? Why put it there? It just is bothersome. Yeah, they f it feels like they were trying to be a little too cheeky than rather actually develop a level. Ah, well, it's supposed to be difficult. Yeah, there's a difference between difficulty and being obtuse. This feels obtuse, and I need to find the cannon. And even if it shoots at me, I don't know from where. As well as, like, the final birds. At least there's one final bird. Is it the final bird? It is the final bird. Now I need to find the final cannons. Of which I do not know where they are. Which annoys me. You'd think that they'd be the easiest to find out of all of them. Because they have to be, like, out in the open air. I don't know. I don't see him. Yeah, this one... This is just badly designed. Because it just breaks the core rule... Of, like... All of the things feeding into each other. God, I still hate aiming with the... Oh, no, it did die. Frustrating. It's hard. It's the feedback on, like, dropping bombs on those guys is a little frustrating. I find it funny that all those other things strewn all over the place. These guys, straight line. Like, did they just get bored designing the level? Like, see, I, I hear you, oh murderous monster out for my blood. I hear you. And of course they break in. It's like they've intentionally designed that exit. Just to punish the player. So I roughly know where all the rings are. Roughly know where all the birds are. Roughly know where all the arches are. And definitely know where all the, uh, buh, 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 those guys are. The guys with the, the gems that drop. The cannons? No idea. Like, maybe they're further down? Like, I don't know. I hear explosion. Is it from up here? I still. Wow, 
I heard hear you somewhere around here. At least I thought I did. And now I'm down to one cannon. A one singular bloody cannon. Because I thought I was hearing fire from over here. Is he around here? Because they're out in the open air. Unless they're put, put in a weird place. It is the final one, you bastards. This is just an annoyingly designed one. And inevitably, I just know that the little, oh, we're gonna shoot at you guys, are gonna stop shooting at me the moment that I need them to shoot at me to tell me. Game, sh why can't I just shoot with my goddamn missiles? Game, please. I hate you so much, your design is bad. Because again, the whole flow of like, ah, feed into the next loop just doesn't work here. Because they just subvert it to be assholes. Look at us, we are clever developers. We took the tried and true method and said fuck that. Difficulty instead. Which just bothers me. Alright, I hear... Missile Launcher. Because it also doesn't help that, like, this guy is a little wonky to steer. So when you have to worry about, like, ah, have to look for the things, have to keep track of the things. Gonna make sure I go ahead and bomb you so you stop stunning me. Blocks. And then go by through. Also gotta say, a little annoying that, like, the... Okay, keep note of you. I saw you, little shooter. Why do you have such range? Bomb you, get you out of here. I think I'm also annoyed by the design because they seem to arbitrarily split up certain things. Like, ah, like three birds are over here. Whereas all the other ones are in a, a different cycle. A little weird. I have to aim down just in case. Alright. In this situation again. Careful listening time. Alright, you are around here, little shooter man. Are you way, way up here on top? Ah, because the devs are assholes. That's not even a good anti-air part because no nobody in the air is going to go there. It's purely just the tiddly he evil overlord guys from the first level on top of towers, except, like, that one was done for no reason other than to piss off the player. I don't like that. Arbitrary difficulty, I say. Just annoying. Because, again... The entire point of the original fly-around levels from the original trilogy is that kind of flow. But to be fair, the original trilogy ones were only one-and-dones for the most part, and maybe a race, which had a different circuit to it. But with, like, the go-and-collect-them-all, shoot-them-down, run-through-arches thing, they had a nice flow 
to it. So you'd go from one objective to another in these little loops. So it's just bothersome to me that they would just go, and now we're going to defy the cycle and put things in weird places because we have to make it more difficult. Which just doesn't feel nice to play. Oh, I, I thought that was a hole. What does that even do? I guess maybe I can fly from over here, maybe. We'll get this light gem. Bye. Have to go to supper. Hope supper is good. Now, let's see. Uh, oh, I don't need to fucking kick surface thing. How dare. And we have to wait for you to come back down. Come back. Come back down. So we can fly away. One of my pet peeves when it comes to video games is when something that is pretty good and fun and they just go, and now we're going to difficultize it because it has to be difficult now. It is the law of video games where fun thing must be ruined for arbitrary difficulty. Because that initial run was pretty good for the most part. But then they had to go and be like, no, no, no. You see, difficulty. Like putting that one ring in one place away from the others. The enemies that actually shoot you down to stun you instead of being little gym bunkers putting some of the vultures in a different area for giggles. Oh, I thought that was an elevator. It just doesn't feel nice to do. And then we'll smash this because we can. What shall that unlock? Again, this map just tells me nothing. Like, when it comes to the main Spyro parts, for the most part, they're actually really good. But the minigames, sometimes the minigames can just go, and now we are difficulty. Dang it. Oh, that's a, another Sphero Aether, I guess. Okay, good to know. What do you got to say, Professor? What is the supercharged gadget? Huh. It's literally a supercharge. Um, game. <laughs> I cannot supercharge the normal button. Can I no more charge this door? I cannot.
cannot even su supercharge the door. Hmm. Weird. Ah, because we came from the wrong area, I guess. Yeah, oh, it's oh, it's no one. Can you tell me any more about him? About Jim? That Jim? Any Jim? But Red ended up being banished from the Order of Dragons for his terrible crimes. I've not seen him in years. He and I used to be friends until he turned evil. Just you know. Then he turned evil. Ah, so this is where we get it. So can't help me against arrows, I guess. So that was a thing. Ah, so that's why that button is done that way. Oh, how dare you, game. Interesting. So it was a thing of they wanted me to use it against these guys. They just didn't give it to me yet. To which again I respond, bad design. Make it either literally impossible to get by without the shield or have it appear after you get the shield. Don't have it just be there as, oh, this is a way that you can go. I'm so I'm still so used to the other game's way of doing the supercharge. Being able to just go whenever feels weird. Wait, especially because the the wing shield only like makes that segment that I got by just more manageable. It's still perfectly able to be done without the wing shield. It's just annoying to do it otherwise. I think this sky place is too high on its own. Ooh, aren't we interesting? We're up in the sky. All right, interesting. Oh, dang it. Again, why did they swap the goddamn charge and flame buttons? At least we're here. Annihilate yourself. I have other places I want to... Let's see. Let's check the map. Let's see that way. Slightly annoying that there are places we can go that aren't on the map, but okay. All right. Also a little annoying how sometimes Spyro just decides to do a figure eight. Like, I don't know, like, one way to make it so that players couldn't progress without getting the wing shield, I would have had it be where an enemy had to die. Like, oh, wing shield to kill that guy, bam, a new way opens. I think that would have worked a little bit to preserve that. Am I supposed to be here? Am I not supposed to be here? Like questionnaire that was going on there. Just wanted to make sure that I there was nothing else over here. From YouTube chat, I was playing one Sparrow game on a uh, real DSi, but I stopped because my L and R buttons were broken. Huh. Eventually, my stepdad takes my DSi in the games and proceeded to lose them. Yeesh. He got me a DSi XL, and now I'm annoyed because I don't have the Spyro game anymore. And if I got a new game, 
uh, game card, the crabs are a nightmare. Yeesh. Let's see, though. But yeah, overall, not digging the level design of this area. The level design just feels wonky, clunky, and weird. Let's look at the map. Uh, for this area, there's still a dragon egg and two diddly dees we can get. Oh yeah, and the ball gadget room. Which will probably be one of them. Then there's the other way. It's like... Oh, and there's also a thing that we can't get, which is the climb. The climber thing. Let's see. Where was the ball gadget room? Again, I, I, I hate the layout of this goddamn place. Because <laughs> I can't even tell where anything is because it all just loops back together. I hate. But I think we got to the ball gadget room from this kind of pseudo-central place. But yeah, I think they were dedicated too much to the aesthetic than to the game design. What do the dragon eggs do? They are collectible. I think, like, overall, they give you, like, uh... We can check, maybe. It was, like, a wrong one, I think. Oh, no, over here. Yeah, if you collect certain ones, you unlock different things. Well, I guess we'll try you. Race down the track and collect the dragon egg within the time limit. When the timer runs out, the dragon egg will disappear, so hurry. I can supercharge, right? Alright, so this is just a mini game. I thought it might travel us to a different area. Like the last one did, so that was probably a shortcut I could have taken. Well, that's just mean. Oh, I can die. That's annoying design. And of course we have to- why do we have to watch the cutscene, game? Fuck off. I'll have you play. Ah, but I do keep the gems that I get from each run. Oh, I guess I need to charge and jump through that because there was like glass there. I need to be careful at the ramps, because it doesn't like it when I charge at the ramps. Even though, you know... Or apparently doesn't want me to jump either. Why? Why do you make this finicky? Make it fun. How about the difficulty? You're a spiral game and you don't even have lives, because you knew it was going to be bad. And you can fall off. How dare. Ah, uh, you were going too fast in the race. We have to give you a speeding ticket. <laughs> Twitch chat says, I think if you do it again after getting the dragon egg, you'll have an opportunity to get a light gym. Like everything else in this game. At this point, I don't think that there's anything in this game that you can't do twice for one or the other. Again, I swear that that can be broken. Or maybe it's like a different route. That'll open up. What do you game? 
Why? Just have it be like a cutscene where you lock on to the jumps. Why is it all physics if you're going to be that finicky about it, game? Come on! This one you have to charge. That one you don't want to charge. This one you have to jump. That one if you jump, you die. It's just like, why? Why have finicky physics behind it? Yeah, I feel like that's a different thing. I tried. Well, or maybe I just didn't have enough speed when I jumped into it. I hate that. Come on. <laughs> Why is it so finicky? Why have them then? Just have it be an entire slide. We are entering into Enter the Dragonfly's little slideshow levels of this annoys me. This is definitely better designed. Still annoys me. Because of how finicky it is with that. Because it seems like it kind of tries to lock you in if you jump at that, like, ramp, but... I'm gonna fall off again, aren't I? Okay, nope, we made it. Like, I'm going as fast as I can, and I'm getting punished for it, which is annoying. Like, not even in an intentional way, it feels like. I hate that these stun me. <laughs> I don't like it when games take control away from me. I hate you. Go fast, but not too fast. Oh, you were too slow. Fuck off. Hate you. That just annoys me. Especially because I felt like I was going super duper fast the entire way through. And I had basically... Ha Why isn't there a restart button? Because <laughs> I already failed, I feel like. I don't want to continue. Because I feel like I've already failed. Kill me. You hit a single thing, and it's failure, it feels like. That is the precedent they set in my mind. I do not find this fun anymore. And it could have been fun if it was a little bit more lenient. But no, they're like, ah, you went too fast. Ah, you went too slow. Ah, you hit a thing. Ah, you didn't hit a thing. It was like, make up your mind. Do you want the player to have fun or not? Still super scared of that, of these segments. Why? <laughs> I hate that so much. Game, please. I jumped at the time you want me to jump, and then you punish me for it. Why? Come on, game. Why are, you, why are you draining the fun away for your perfectionist bullshit here? We need to have difficulty. Well, no point in having difficulty if there's no fun. You aren't Guitar Hero Expert Mode through the fire and the flames 250% speed game. This is something that locks my goddamn progression. How dare you? I do believe that I have also failed because I hit that one thing. Why? 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 I'm not charging! Jumping should not send me over! Especially because you need to jump for the other one! God damn you! And I failed again. Ah. You hit a single obstacle, you fail. That's what this is, and it's annoying. But you have to do it, because 100% locks an ending. And it's a goddamn Spyro game. And all the other normal stuff until this goddamn cloud place has been fun and decent. Not at all like Enter the Dragonfly. This is Enter the Dragonfly 
when the design is just too demanding. Enter the drag... And I failed. Goodbye. If I hit those, it's over. Hello there. We are suffering through apparently the difficulty spike. Whereas Enter the Dragonfly was terrible because of crunch, so they couldn't design a good game, uh, the devs of this one decided they were going to make a bad game by design. Yeah, like with that one, you have to jump to make these. But then the next one, it feels like if you jump, you fail. Let's see. That's such terrible design! Like, maybe you can make the other one for with no not jumping, but it feels like you have to jump on the first one. I think I should get it this time. Thank God. And now let's try for a light gem. They give me 20 extra seconds. So either this is, they mixed up the easy mode and the hard mode, or this is gonna be a bastard. Don't know how I jumped over them. I didn't even hit the jump button. Ah, cause different route. All right. Make up. Make up your mind on what the player is supposed to do at those stupid goddamn ramps, developers. I hate them. I hate them. They should just be click jump and they will lock you into a trajectory so you go and bounce off the physics bubblies good. That is what they should be. Simplify your goddamn design, you assholes. That is what you need to do. Simplify. God damn you. At least I'm so fast that I get there before those activate. Not sure if that's meant to happen. Why are these physics based? They should just be a cutscene. Uh, so the reason there's extra 20 seconds is because they added more in. I'm not sure I'm going to make it this time, though. Damn it. Maybe. Just maybe. Booyah! Whew! I did not like that as much. I think it... Okay. <laughs> that felt a bit weird. Like, that could have been very, very fun. But they overcomplicated it with the difficulty. Primarily, like, the fact that it felt a little strict on the first run. What is with this segment just being, like, all about... Like, oh, the second one is easier for some reason. And I believe that last uh, gem's shard we can't get yet because uh, we need the jump jumps. And then, so I guess we just need to return back to here. Although I'm missing a lot back at Coastal Remains. I haven't gotten the... Oh, yeah, because we we'll get a breath by beating up the, the boss. Go back here. But bleg. But I'm just trying to think, because I know that... Uh... So I'm trying to map out in my mind. Because here at Coastal Remains... Hmm, and we're missing uh, two dragon eggs uh, here. One, I think, is because of jumpy jumps. The other one could be that I just missed it. Here is Jumpy Jumps, and here we're missing a Dragon Egg 
and uh, two light gems. One light gem is obvious. It's down here where we need the water breath or whatever. And uh, the other ones, I don't know. We'll have to walk around and look for them. Oh, yep, we can go fight the boss at least. Ah, uh, there was a chest in the water. We'll have to... I didn't explore the water all that much, so maybe there is a dragon egg in a locked chamber. Hmm. We've been going decently long, so... I guess we'll beat the boss and then wander around. See if we can find the ones that are, like, easy to find. Will there be another flame to rescue? Would be funny if flame just got captured again and again. He's just like, ah, I came to help Spyro, but this Ursula bitch caught me too. Everything smells like fish. <laughs> Watery tomb. All right. Well, that's... <laughs> well, I'm stuck here. Who are you? <laughs> Ineptune. Haha. <laughs> Definitely Ursula, though. Huh? Well, Normally people I fight say I'm smaller than they expected. You know, they're trying to psych me out. Oh, I guess I just assumed dragons were tiny. You know, I spend all my time in the water, so I don't get to see a lot of... How are you even breathing, then, if you spend all your time in the water? Well, that's just disgusting. Rude. Cool music, though. All right. Nice animation there, hitting her into that. It actually kind of looks like the thing bonks her on the head a bit. Oh, that's not good. Um, am I supposed to smack it down? I think so. Oh, nope, it just came up to make me dodge a little bit. Oh, I should probably use my wing shield again when her throw when she throws that uh, the ball at me. No, never mind. Not what the game wants out of me. I was over expecting the game to be nice. And get out of here. I presume that this is going to be like Nasty Nork, where it's going to be hit her three times, phase change, hit her three times, phase change, hit her three times, phase change, for three times. Oh, dang it. I wonder if there's going to be anything it expects me to use my... Oh, damn you, game. And it made me fall in there. Very, very rude game. <laughs> the platform is just not optimal fun to deal with. Like, it's a very odd shape for a diddly dang platform. They have to throw lots of missiles. They're blunt, but apparently they're piercing. I wonder if I can just jump on top of it. I can just jump on top of it. Little rude that, like, the water is instant death. Wish that was more like Spyro 1 and 2 and 3, where, ooh, you hit something dangerous, you bounce back to safety. Just 
still a nice animation. And then I'll just stand up. Up, Nick. Uh, stand up. Damn you. Why are you slippery all of a sudden? It's a platform. Let me platform off of it. Apparently, if I get far enough away, she instantly goes into her breath attack. Works for me. That's interesting. I wonder if that's intentional. But we're still fighting. I think you don't understand what defeated means. Defeated is not, oh, you hit me three times. Defeated is, I put you down for the count. I don't think you understand what defeated means. Nasty Nork, I can understand. Oh, he healed. I wondered for a moment. Damn you. Why is that slippery top? Just let me balance on top of it and cheese you. Like if I stand far away, are you just instantly going to go into your breath attack? If I just stand very far away. And I will once again try to stand atop the Whirly Dwirls, because fuck you. Yeah, Whirly Dwirl supremacy. I don't need to platform, I am on top of the platform. And now I just stand very far away. You might throw one thing at me. I just stand very far away. Apparently you're not interested in my cheese method today. I just stand here. You vomit back and forth like it is your hair. I defeat you for the second time. Still a nice animation. I just like it. And her voice is actually pretty good for a villain. Very Maleficent, very... Oh, I hear noises. I don't like the sound of the noises behind me. Makes me worry. Damn it. I want to cheese. Is that too much to ask? And again, I stay very far away. Maybe you'll just go directly into your breath mode. Nope. Still weird that I can't, like, reflect those with my wing shield. This is the boss that you send right after I get the wing shield. Let me use the wing shield on projectiles, I say. Or did, or did like, they only have, like, one person work on each level? And, like, oh. Understandable. Have a good day. I picked the wrong one to try to cheese. Yeah, with, like, some refinement, this would be a really good boss fight. It's just that there's a little, little bitty quirks there. He didn't even say overreacting. He said overacting. Did she just swallow you? Hmm, move objects. <laughs> you can do dehydrated foods. Mm -hmm. 
And now the water is good again, so we can swim. I wonder why there's two. And slow down enemies, you say? It does seem like fire will perpetually be the go-to damage one. Electricity seems to have a bit more reach, but is very situational. And we can go get that other light gem. And try to see... We'll try to go get the other light gem that we can this way. And look around the water. Because there might be a chest in there that I missed. Game I'd like to get on. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Well, that was intense. Yeah, basically just walk around any swim area for chest. Because there is one dragon egg that... Well, wait, no, I know where that... No, wait, no. I, I, for a moment I thought, oh, did we get that one? Yeah, we got that one. That dragon egg. I wish that there was like a mark on the map of where I didn't get certain ones. Because I wonder if uh, that remaining ba ba ba. So I can use it to like stun some dudes. We already got that one. Let me see. I have two lockpicks. The problem is looking in the various water places, I might have missed a chest. Oh, damn you. Again, the lack of invincibility frames. Basic game design, please. I would very much like it. Alright, so I can kind of doggy paddle. To have a wider range. Without worrying about my control too much. Because I think the problem with these, like, worlds being the levels and them being so big is that if you do miss a collectible, good luck frickin' finding it. Oh, maybe if I put out the fire here, uh, it'll unlock something? Oh, come on, that would've been a cool interaction. Back in the ocean waters. Like where the spinny wheel was, you say. But I could have sworn that I looked all over there. Another reason why putting the... Eggs in chests is a little annoying, because... Then if I miss a chest, it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> I've returned! We defeated Ursula's <laughs> crazy sister. And right now I am looking for a potential egg chest that we missed. 
Or someone in Twitch chat is saying they think they saw a chest out here in the ocean waters. At least I presume that's what they mean. I personally didn't see one, but I'm also blind sometimes. Yeah, we killed Ursula. We didn't have to ram her with a with a ship this time either. Yeah, I don't think there's a chest out here. Don't jump over the net. Instant death. I wasn't even going to try that. Twitch chat says they think that the one they saw was near the sunken ruins entrance. Probably should have led with that. This entire place is nothing but ocean. So when I hear ocean waters, I think the one that's most like a beach. Again, I kind of miss the charge and then jump and you continue charging from past Spyro games. Yeah, while we're here, might as well heal up Sparks. Let's see. Get electrocuted. Does Spiral have a death animation underwater? I do not know. Yeah, not this one, but... No crab raving. Go home. Let's see. Yeah, the sunken entrance is... This way, I think. Has been a bit since we went this way. Because in sunken entrance, we know... I didn't even know that I could climb that. It probably doesn't mean anything, but still. And there's, yeah, you. Because, we, yeah, we did you twice, the little blink... Get electrocuted. Burn alive. Now that I have all the upgrades in the world, I do not need you. And we'll check down here for chests then. Because we didn't really spend much time in these waters. Again, I hate that these things can preempt my attacks, especially since my only attack is dashing underwater. I wish I could see more clearly, like from above, so I could like look around a bit. Be careful not to accidentally jump over it. I wonder. I miss fucking invincibility frames game. Give some hit leniency. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't see any chests down here. Maybe they're hidden. Maybe they're just badly placed. But at the same time, sunken treasure is something that you'd think could be an idea for a chest. I 
I wish there weren't so many enemies underwater so I could actually look. Why even have the jellyfish? So I'm just trying to think of where maybe... Like, anything could be. Because, like, some places... Because, like, down here, I know that there's, like, a jump segment that we can't do. Up here, there's a jump segment we can't do. I'm just wondering where how everything else could be. I wish that I could, like... I don't know. Because these levels are a little big. So, like, trying to narrow down where something could be is a little frustrating. I don't think it's over here. Suffer and die. Again, invincibility frames would be fun, game. Invincibility frames, you heard of them, designers? And we'll check out these caves. Quickly heal up. Just trying to think, because there's at least, like, one dragon egg that we should be able to get. Definitely not in here. We did everything in there. Just quickly gonna... Maybe in here? Doubtful, but... Just gotta retread a little bit, glance around. No, because this is where a dragon egg was. But at the same time, you never know. Maybe if I look around, I'll see the super duper secret second. Game, I'm pressing jump, please. Don't have that stupid, like, uh. I forget, like, I think it was, like, one Crash... No, it wasn't a Crash Bandicoot, but there was one game, a platformer game I was playing that was very annoying because it had very precise jumps, but basically punished you by not having the classical coyote time, where if you jump, you have a little bit of leniency to jump again after leaving a platform. That's what it feels like there. Basically, it just feels like if you don't jump at the precise time the game wants you to, you suffer. And again, I, again, I miss the ability to charge and jump at the same time. Because I don't think there was any other chests in here. I'm going to add this way, see if there's anything I missed here. Because it's been a long time since we ventured this way. Come on, bring down the hammer. No, it's just this. I don't think that there'd be an egg hidden. But you never know. Quickly glance around, just in case. Doesn't seem like there's an egg hidden in here. So we can cut off this entire section as not having egg, I'm fairly certain. How many eggs do you have? Like, I'm not keeping count of that, really. 
It's mostly just the fact that we're looking for, like, presumably the one egg that's missing in this segment for me. Because yeah, I think this entire place should be clear. So now it's just the wibbly wobbling. Yeah, but the top spot, uh, black spot, I think is just the, like, weirdness of the boss area. Yeah, it's just the... Well, actually... Almost forgot that this was a place. A game! His hit animation was over! I forgot that this was a part of the map. What is this, uh... Ah, just saying piranhas. Beware the piranhas. Damn it, why'd you have to move? But yeah, this is probably where at least something is. I'm gonna just die. Uh, not even an egg, just more gems. Why have a hidey hole for just gems? Once again, just getting impatient with all the platforming, moving back and forth. Which is a me problem, but still. My impatience is my nemesis. And here is the egg. So now that's missing is one light gem hidden somewhere that's probably locked behind a jump thing. Huzzah. Almost forgot that that, like, little segment existed. Because I was kind of wondering, hmm, why is there, like, a second path leading there? I guess we can't do it just yet. We probably could have done it the entire time. I just kept forgetting about it because my brain just locked off the boss area of the map. But that should be everything, because there should go... Uh, should be one shiny that we can't get because blah, blah, blah. In fact, I didn't really see a reason. But we can always backtrack and look around later. Or maybe I can consult a guide. I'll just come back down there to the sunken ruin since it's one big circle looking for the egg when we get the jump ability. And yeah, that's pretty much it then, I think. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy the... Sparks Rejuvenation, which has yet to go off because we keep insta-dying with it. With it. Ah, there you are, my favorite wallet. And then I guess we can move on to the next area, presumably. The Icy Wilderness. Ursula died, my lord. <laughs> Lol. Didn't even shatter him. Please. What is going on around here? Do I have to deal with Spyro myself? Maybe. He'll be on his way here looking for me soon. Hmm. Let me think. Yes, I suppose I could always release my other guardian. <laughs> Release the other guardian. A few tricks up his sleeve that will give smarty pants Spyro a run for his money. <laughs> Just. Uh, uh. My brain is. You big mumbling dollop. Stand guard over there. <laughs> okay. Make sure nobody gets past you. If you let me down. A mammoth? 
Uh, so this is one that's being tortured to be working for him. But what you gotta say? The Ice Citadel. But since we've been going for about three and a half hours, I think, and also completed a world, I guess we shall call it there. <laughs> oh, almighty Sylvneon, what game shall be played once this game hath ended? Probably The Legend of Spyro 1, A New Beginning, and we'll try to power on through The Legend of Spyro games, for this is my... Neon Spyrothon to give me a small break from uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon so that we can jump into Super Mystery Dungeon after Legend of Spyro is finished. Or at least, like, yeah. Because all that's left is this game, then Legend of Spyro 1, 2, and 3, and then... Zet will be Zet. We'll head back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Probably. Then no idea what we'll do after that. Yeah. Once again, the game is doing mostly pretty good. Just a few little gripes, especially with the mini games. The mini games feel too much like, oh, we have to put difficulty in instead of prioritizing fun. Especially when some of the, like, with the Sparks mini game, some of the bullets don't seem like they hit where my cursor was, so that's a little annoying. And then, like, them just messing around with the formula of the flying segment for difficulty purposes when it's like I would personally prefer it if it kept the cycle gameplay of like ah you go from one objective to the other objective in these little cycles these loops and then just tighten the amount of Blah, blah, blah. The Titan, the amount of time that you have. <laughs> not the Reignited Trilogy? No, not the Reignited Trilogy, because I have played the Reignited Trilogy quite a few times. So, I am, like, uh, very familiar with it. It's more of a... The, 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 the Reignited Trilogy is more of a, uh, a, a game... Well, games to play if I ever feel like just having a casual fun time. Because, like, the original trilogy and the Reignited trilogy are Spyro games that I already know quite well. And uh, this Spyrothon is mostly just so that I can uh, play Spyro games that I either only played a little bit a long time ago or never played. Like Enter the Dragonfly, Hero's Tale, and the, uh, uh, the uh, Legend of Spyro trilogy. Because it's because uh, when it comes to streaming, I like to stream games that I've never played before, or like know little about, even if or like uh, I might have played them a long time ago, but my memory is just uh, trash, so I hardly remember anything of my time experiencing them. But yeah, it's kind of weird that they brought back the wing shield from Enter the Dragonfly, or at least I think that was original to Enter the Dragonfly. I don't remember wing shield from, like, uh, any of the other Spyro games. Then again, my brain could just be bleh. <laughs> or, or maybe it's as important to the other Spyro games as it is to this one so far. Where it's like, you kind of need it for this one section, and then it's like, never again. <laughs> But, yeah, when it comes to the main Spyro segments of this game, it's very fun. Dying isn't too terrible. You just jump right back in and give it another shot. The platforming can be a little annoying because it's mostly like, Oh, you fell. You have to waste your time going again. Even, even if it is my fault for failing the platforming. Mm. But, like, the, the sad thing is, like, the minigames can be fun. It's just that they like, oh, we have to tweak it for difficulty, which is just a little annoying. Trying to have too much difficulty without substance. Like, difficulty is hard to do right in a game. Because, like, take Dark Souls and Elden Ring, where the difficulty feels just like, oh, I need a combination of learn this fight and get strong. 
and you can kind of do both interchangeably in some places to kind of make up for your failings in the other. Whereas here, it's just, you do it right! And it's just a frustrating thing to experience. Especially when it feels like in the race segment in the ball, where you need to race down the track, the physics segment of, oh, do I need to just go normally over the ramp? Do I need to jump off the ramp? Do I need to speed off the ramp? Is all running through my brain. And so I have to do that part again and again and again and again. It's just very annoying when it could just be press jump on the ramp and we'll set you on the path to victory. Little bouncing bongo segment that doesn't add anything. Or maybe just remove that. Maybe just remove that segment and have it be where you need to use the right speed to cover a gap or something. Like, the bouncing bongo segment of the ramp thing is just weird and feels out of place. So, yeah, like, the main Spyro segments are good. And the ideas behind the mini games are good as well. It's just that they overcomplicate it with unnecessary difficulty that doesn't feel difficult. It just feels meandering and annoying. I don't know. Really, the only minigame that feels underbaked is the Sparks Star Fox segments. Because, again, the bullets don't seem to hit where I'm pointing the reticle, and the hitboxes don't feel like they're visually consistent. Or it could just be my depth perception in those segments is bad. I don't know. It's just like the Sparks ones just feel odd to play. And, but the problem is. You can like there's only you have to do them twice, and they're usually not too terrible that you don't want to do them, so that you can get the 100% ending. Meh, meh. It's just minor little problems that don't. It's just minor scuffs on this otherwise nice product. Cause I think it is still falling behind, like. If it just focused on making the game fun and didn't overcomplicate with the difficulty, I think this might go above some of the original trilogy. But that incessant need to be like, ah, oh, we need to add difficulty, ah, oh, we need difficulty, is starting to bring it down just a little bit. Very frustrating. But still better than Enter the Dragonfly. Still better than Enter the Dragonfly, and really, that's all I can ask for out of these games now, can I? But yes, I do believe that that will be it. <laughs> Enter the Dragonfly is worse still? Definitely. Out of all the Spyro games I've played by now, which is the original trilogy, the Reignited trilogy, which is just a remake of the original trilogy, uh, Enter the Dragonfly, and now this amount of... In fact, let's see. How much percentage of... Uh, how much percentage of this game status screen 45 percent i've played 45 percent of a hero's tale and so far it is like it would have to take a super nose dive to crumble to the levels of enter the dragonfly because the fact is like all of the spyro games aside from Enter the Dragonfly, have okay stories. Like, good inciting incidents that really set you on your path to go play the game. Enter the Dragonfly doesn't really have that. Like, and aside from the first Spyro game, which tells the story by saving the different dragons from the Crystal Prisons, all of the L Spyro games have a decent amount of cutscenes continuing that story. Spyro gets a bit further, the villain says some stuff, some, like, uh, complications arise for one or another. And Enter the Dragonfly didn't have that. The only mid-game cutscene Enter the Dragonfly had was just reiterating what we already knew. Ripto finding out that he just sent the dragonflies across the continent. And that's it. It's weird. But... And yeah, and I'm also foreseeing... Like, it would take a lot 
for like even Legend of Spyro to dip below Enter the Dragonfly. If any game in the Spyro like like main Spyro series dips below the quality bar set by Enter the Dragonfly, I would be utterly shocked. But yeah. I do believe that will be it for now. We beat another world, and aside from worries about the difficulties being set up, I overall think that things should be going in a good direction still. <laughs> so we will continue next time on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, because I'm trying to stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, keeping a good schedule. And otherwise, if you want more stuff from me, I have all the things that I do linked in my link tree. linktr.ee slash neonicywings with direct links to my link tree found in any description, bio, or link place on the various sites. It has links to my main edited content YouTube channel, my streaming YouTube channel, where all these streams get uploaded to after the fact as well, and my live streaming Twitch, if that is more your speed. And then if you want art for me, like my little character in the corner, I upload various arts to various websites and social medias like Dumb, Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, Blue Sky, Tumblr, lots of different places. And if you want to read stories I might be writing, uh, there's also links to a few places I upload my fan fiction. I want to post original fiction, but I don't know where exactly or how to publish, nor have I actually really started writing it. I really should one of these days. Mm. But, and finally, if you are feeling exceptionally kind, my Patreon is also linked in there and is effectively just a little donation bucket. It is just simple for everyone involved. I feel like you throw however much you want. Simple. It's just there for the affluent, well-off people who are stable in this rocky, evil world to throw a few dollary dues of kindness my way. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you want more from me, all that's in the link tree. And I hope to see you dudes next time. Just remember, be you, be true, be happy. But most importantly, stay kind and stay hydrated. Good night.